All right. Hopefully, uh, you can hear me okay. I was on a level 58, or sorry, level 68 Fisher quest called Always a Bigger Fish, and I have to catch three high-quality Defangshi fish. And so I was like, what? So they told me where to go, but I didn't really know what to do. And um, it's going to be spear fishing. And I looked online just to see if anyone had any information. And it looks like uh, two Reddit posts that I found pretty much saying the same thing. And I'll put a link in uh, the YouTube video that I post this to. Um, the first one says, the first one was my question, like, where do I find Defangshi fish? And the answers were basically, uh, you have to use spear fishing, and you have to use the uh, big head, I think, or the large gig. So if you go to your gigs right here, gig head, uh, you have small, normal, and large. You need to make sure you have the large selected. And then basically, you need to be in this area of Yangja. Yangja? Don't know how to pronounce it totally right. But yeah, Yangja, you need to be in this area around the, uh, like, nine... 32 area and then you're going to be looking for underwater again spearfishing these level 70 teeming waters and what you're going to do is make sure you have you know uh, make sure your gear is repaired like unlike mine i need level s grade 7 matter oh well i should be okay for right now Anyway, you interact with it, and then obviously, or maybe not obviously, but whenever you see those bubbles, you hit gig, your, like, real button. So I got Yanja Tiger Prawn, which I don't need. So I'm going to just keep doing this until I get this one fish called Ichthyosaurus. And you have to catch enough Ichthyosauruses to spawn like the hidden node called like I don't actually shadow node or something I can't remember exactly but hopefully we'll hit it in a little bit and I've already caught a few um, of the fish that I need and once you catch these ichthyosauruses once you catch enough of them this other node will spawn and that's where you will actually catch the Defangshi fish. So, I didn't catch any Ichthyosauruses in that run, so I'm gonna use my shark eye move, and I can see that there's a teeming water this way. Level 70. And make sure when you're doing this and you interact with the teeming water, it says you're in the sunken junk. If you're not in the sunken junk, then you're in the wrong area. So I got a bubbles, which means it's time to spearfish. I got bubbles again, which means spearfish time. And I keep getting these Yanja Tiger Prawns. So what you can do is you can use this ability called Veteran Trade. But I don't want to use it just yet. Even though I should have, because that was a plus one yield. Okay, so I got two Ichthyosauruses. But, apparently that's still not enough. Oh, and you also want to make sure you have your Truth of Oceans buff on. So sorry. So, that's super important. Otherwise, you will not be able to see the hidden note that apparently pops up after you get this fish. Alright, so I'm going to gig it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use Veteran Trade, because that'll make it to where I do not get any more Yanja Tiger Shrimp, or Pawn, or whatever it's called. Awesome. And see, we say the shadow of an elusive sea creature lurks somewhere nearby. I'm going to go ahead and just finish this for the XP. Perfect, I got another Ichthyosaurus, even though I don't need it. But you're going to need, like, maybe 8 or 10 or something before you get that uh, message that says a shadow or a creature lurks in the shadow below or something like that. So as you can see, I have on my mini-map over here a swimming shadows 
node, basically, is what it is. And it's 11, level 70. And what we're going to do is... Nope, that's not it. Ooh, it's far. What we're going to do is basically the same thing. I'm going to try my hardest to get the the Fangxi fish high quality. But um, if I don't, then I have to do all of that all over again. I have to catch you know, 8 to 10 or however many itch Ichthyosaurus is so that I can respawn that um, s shadow node thing. What is it called? Swimming shadows. Okay, the fact that it's this far is kind of freaking me out. Okay, there it is. Good. Oh, and there is Gov, who's an NPC as part of the quest. Alright, I'm going to wait until my GP goes up. And I have a full ironwork set that I crafted a while ago with Overmelt. You might not have that, and I don't know anything about the requirements to catch this fish, so I'm just praying that I have enough. Alright, so I'm going to start the node. And just like any other gig fish, I'm going to make sure I have the right large head on. And then go ahead and gig when the bubbles pop. Sweet, I caught a high quality Defangshi fish. I need two more. I'm gonna hit that note again. Okay, I got a normal quality. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Calm Waters so that I can gain another um, use of this node. Oh, sorry, and it's ready. Oh, I caught two HTO sources, I don't need them. So I'm gonna use Actually, I'm not going to use Veteran Trade. I'm too scared. <laughs> I'd rather use Calm Water. Alright. Caught another Defangshi fish. I'm going to use Calm Waters again to get back one attempt. The bubbles are up, so I go ahead and gig. Ah, normal quality Defangshi boo. Let's see. Snipe eel. Don't need that. I have two more tries, I think. Hopefully, come on, Defangshi. Yes, I got it. All right, so now I do not have to do all of that stuff over again. Otherwise, if you only got two out of the whole try here, then you would have to go back to those level 70 teaming waters and try and get those Ichthyosauruses until you get the screen message that says, um, there is a creature in the lurking in the shadows or something. So yeah, I hope that helps somebody out there who had just as much trouble as me figuring out what all this meant. Good luck, and I'll see you later. Bye!